I mean, uh, I think there are too many transfers in, oh, in the budget. We need to cut, cut way back on the transfers. You need to cut all, not some. I, all. The, the reason I don't, I wouldn't go as extreme as you would, is because circumstances happen that are unforeseen for which transfers make sense. We just had a hurricane come through. We had a lot of uh, uh, trees that were cut down that need to be cut down. But a lot that's of contingent work. budget. You have to have a contingent. Oh, 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 oh. All I'm saying is, is that. Events happened during the year that were not foreseen at the beginning of the year when the budget was, was, was passed. When an unforeseen event happens, um, there are times when you may need to be able to make a transfer from one place to another place. In general, I agree with you, but when, yeah. you, when, you, take a, a, when you take it to the extreme level that you can never make a transfer, um, what I think you're, you're neglecting to look at is that when you're budgeting for a 12-month period, you're doing your best shot to make a guess as to what's going to happen. But life doesn't always turn out that way. Events happen, things happen, uh, 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 prices change on things, mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden you have to make a, uh, you have to make a transfer. A, a great example would just be fuel costs. Fuel costs, budgets for fuel costs are based on the best estimate of what, what the cost per gallon is of, of fuel. If for some reason in August of, of, of the budget year the cost of fuel goes up a dollar a gallon, um, you, you're going to be have to be looking to make transfers because yeah, you're based, yeah, but you're, budget based on, I on, on the right, the, the contingency budget well, planning. The, 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 but the way both yeah, I mean you're right. I hear what you're saying. You're saying you understand contingency budget planning, and that that works for me. I am telling you, like I know that. Um, you know, the existing commissioner did not even sit down at the table oh, I to know. meet with them until two, like two weeks before he put this budget out, and then it came out a week late. I, know I, will, I will be, I, I will be I doing my very best. I will be going yeah. over, and he says he goes over these things no. line by line. That is absolutely false. I mean, that it, that is just absolutely well, false. Well, he can't go over them one, one by one. I don't see why you can't go over these things line by no, line. I, mean, I know he does not. Yeah, yeah, no. But he said it. He said it uh, in, in a city council meeting. He goes through, through these things line by line. That's just not true. So I will. I will be meeting with the other commissioners, if elected, um, and we will go over things line by line. And, and, and there will be a reason for the number, and, there, and I would want the commissioners to stand by that number throughout the year. You've just given me a reason to, to support you. Thank you. But, but Brent, you just, criti you just said you can't foresee the future, and you have all these... in unforeseen events. In the meantime, you're criticizing this administration for their lack of planning for the future five years down the road when you just admitted you can't plan that far ahead. Um, do you think you can move on to the last candidate because some students do have other plans. Yeah, yeah, then it's late. And thank you. Thank you all very much. <laughs>